In this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of three super red bristlenose plecos. These are going to be short fins. And this is kind of like the next step in my bristlenose pleco breeding project. I did those videos where I showed you guys I successfully bred some albino bristlenose and then off camera I was also able to successfully breed some chocolates, some uh, some of the standard common bristlenose pleco. So now I kind of wanted to try to move on to some of the more sought after varieties like your super reds, your green dragons, your blue eyes, and then eventually the long fin variants of those two. So what I have here is three short fin super red plecos that I ordered from a breeder out of Syracuse, New York, and I got them for $20 each. They're between two to three inches long, closer to the three inch mark, and it's one male and two females, or at least best guess at females, because at that size, sometimes you can get one that ends up going the other way, but most likely female. I've ordered from this seller in the past, and he's always very good about shipping them. He uses a lot of styrofoam, a lot of insulation, and a heat pack on the bottom and the top in the colder weather months. They were shipped via two-day shipping, and I've actually had bristlenose shipped all the way from Washington to the Massachusetts Rhode Island area, and had a shipping delay, had them arrive after five days, and all the bristlenose still arrived just fine. I definitely would not suggest going that route, always do two or one day shipping, but it just goes to show that this is a very hardy type of fish. So here's the first one right here, and this is how you're often going to see it shipped. Not a whole lot of water, but more air in the bag, that way the fish has a lot of extra oxygen should they run out of oxygen in the water. And these bags are kind of pill shaped, long with less than half filled with water. The first fish looked nice and healthy, um, no visible signs of any illness and was moving. This one right here also looks good. And you can kind of see that reddish orange color to them looking through the bag. That color does improve as they get older. And this one I think is my male. This one looks a bit bigger and I know the male that was coming to me is the biggest of the group. It's a little difficult to see the bristles through the bag. I did get some images too from the seller. I'll show you guys those in a second. And looking at this one, there's actually something interesting in here. I have the pleco in here. He is alive. But I also have what looks like... A little baby guppy. I know the seller does raise some other fish. It looks like I might have gotten a bonus fish either by accident or just as a little gift. But I am very happy to see that all three, or I guess I should say four now, fish are doing very well, at least from what I can tell looking through the bag and how they are moving. I'm going to flash up on your screen right now the images that I got from the seller. This is what he sent me before actually sending me the fish. Just give you an idea of what they look like and their size. Okay, so I have them in a five gallon bucket now. I'm kind of getting them acclimated to the water that is going to be inside the quarantine tank. I'm going to keep them in the quarantine tank from somewhere between two weeks to four weeks, depending on if they show any signs of ick or any illnesses or any weird behavior. But I will kind of fast forward this video so that you guys can get a better look at these guys when they're actually in the tank, because this doesn't really give you the best look at them. So I will get back to you then. So I finally have the three Super Reds in the main tank here. I kept them in quarantine for three weeks and they showed no issues, no signs of illness. They all acted fine, they all ate normal, so they're ready to move in here now. My main tank here is going through a bit of an algae bloom. I'm probably leaving the lights on a bit too long, um, so that's why you're seeing a bit of a cloudy greenish water, but I've been doing very frequent water changes and testing the water. Um, so the water parameters are fine, it's just kind of probably too long of a light cycle. Um, I'm actually trying to experiment with something though because the guy I bought these from suggested growing out plecos in green water environments. He said that's how he grows out his fry very quickly um, in green water conditions. All the extra algae, I guess, supplements their food supply. I don't know, something I'm kind of thinking about trying out. But the Super Reds are all looking pretty good. No signs of illness. They all have very nice red color to them, I, I think at least, for their size. And you might actually see four in here, that's because I did have one prior to getting these three, and that one is a 50-50. Um, it looks like a female, but it acts like a male with cave behavior, so I'm really, the jury's not really out on that one yet. So I might end up having two pairs, I might end up having a male with a trio of females, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, everybody's looking good. I do have the one confirmed male in here at least, and then the other three could go either way, but... 
I believe two of them are definitely going to be female because they have not been exhibiting any cave behavior, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'll probably do an update video if I can get these to breed. But yeah, I just wanted to do a short little unboxing, show you guys the process and how you can have some fish shipped to you, I guess. It's kind of a cool alternative if you don't have any local breeders that are selling these Super Reds. You can kind of look online and see what you can get. I'll try to include a link to this breeder if he approves that. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.